Okay team, um, today I'm going to go over the new Aerogen setup that we have. Uh, we're going to be using these Aerogens, this is what they look like. Uh, we're going to be using these for um, nebulizations into our vent circuits. So if we have a uh, patient that needs to be on continuous nebs or even just an intermittent neb, um, while on our ventilator we can use these Aerogen setups. Um, this is also the same setup we would use uh, for inhaled Velitri. Um, we would have respiratory therapy with us at that time, but um, we could use our same setup. So these are going to be all stationed on the uh, trucks, um, and there's going to be a set of the Aerogen itself as well as the disposables. These are the disposables. You have a T-piece and a um, canister where the uh, nebulization goes in. Um, those are the two disposables that we're going to have. Um, you can see uh, this is covered. You can take that off. Uh, your circuit's going to go right on here, and then your uh, canister is going to go on the top there. Um, if you look at the inside, this is where the plug for the Aerogen uh, plugs in. See those two little contacts? And then this uh, position here is where you would add the medication uh, right there, um, or where you would screw on the Velitri setup. All right. All right, so in order to set this up, uh, first thing you're going to do is you're going to actually make sure that uh, you're going to fill this canister with the fluid, and you're going to ensure that it, um, that it is working. So fill that with the fluid, and then you're going to plug in your Aerogen setup, uh, your Aerogen device. It can go either way, either direction there, right? And then, um, then your Aerogen here just needs to get it connected to a power source. So um, these Aerogens we have are USB powered. They do also come with an AC uh, adapter, so it could be plugged into a wall. But um, the reason we got these USBs is so that we could actually plug them into our ventilators. And you'll see that our ventilators have a USB port here. Um, some of our ventilators, we have a little USB stick in there, uh, memory, so we can take screenshots. If that's the case, you can just take it out and then plug your uh, Aerogen setup uh, into that device. Um, that should then power the device. Then what you're going to do is you're just going to turn on your Aerogen by clicking the button once and you're going to make sure that you see nebulization. You know, Hold it upright like this and then make sure you see nebulization coming out there to make sure that all is working correctly. All right. I'm going to turn the ventilator on because the um, Aerogen won't power up unless the vent is on. So now that the vent is on, you press this once and you see how it gives you a light on the 30 minute timer. That means this uh, is gonna be nebulized for 30 minutes before it turns off. All right, so now, um, now this will be placed on this T-piece and you're ready to hook this into your vent circuit. So the way that we're gonna hook these into our vent circuit here, um, here we have the uh, inspiratory side of our circuit setup and the expiratory side. We've already got an expiratory valve on here. Um, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to um, put a filter on our inspiratory limb. All right? And the reason we put these, um, we're going to put this nebulization here at the vent side is to keep it nice and stable so you don't have to worry about it spilling over or or um, or anything like that while you, if you had it connected closer to the patient. So this is the setup that we're gonna recommend. So that goes in just like that. And then we're gonna place two filters here on the expiratory valve. And this actually does two things. Uh, one, it creates a even platform. So we'll be able to hook up our coax uh, circuit. And the second thing it does is it actually protects the ventilator. Sometimes with this Aerogen setup, you can actually get uh, medication that comes all the way through the circuit back to the ventilator. And sometimes it'll actually make this first filter wet. So we wanna put two in there to protect the ventilator. Now that that's set up, now we're gonna hook up our ex um, circuit right on the end there, right? And we're gonna plug in our vent just as we normally would. All right. So that is the overall setup, the way it looks. Um, and then the cord is running over to the other side of the ventilator and plugged in for power. This can kind of just be uh, kept up here, maybe, maybe sort of strapped 
up at the top here or something like that uh, just to get it out of the way. All right, so two more things with the Aerogen itself. You can see uh, if you press it once, it goes to the 30 minute um, tab. It's gonna go in for 30 minutes and then shut off. If you wanna do a continuous neb or um, you're gonna have bleachery or something like that, yeah, keep it off and then you're actually gonna press, you're gonna press and hold the on button until it switches over to the six hour mark. There you go. And that's about it. Pretty simple setup. If you have any questions, let me know.